I'm Edie Lush and I'm here in the Mayan Riviera. Very pleased to be joined by Minister Ilefonso Wajardo. Thank you very much for joining me here. Hub Culture's interview at the World Economic Forum. Now tell me, Mexico is in the top 10 recipients of foreign direct investment. Why is that? Well, because uh, somehow investors are looking at Mexico in two basic aims. One is uh, we are a tremendously good platform for foreign trade. We have uh, free trade agreements uh, with uh, 46 nations in the world, which give us access to more than 1 billion cons consumers. Therefore, if you are planning to invest in an auto factory, you know that you can export from Mexico to the rest of the world. As a matter of fact, within the first two years of President Peña administration, we have gotten more uh, than the, it was uh, 20, 20 million, 23 million billion dollars of investment in the auto uh, industry and in, in the auto part industry. And that's because uh, the confidence on the abilities of the country to build high quality manufacturing and over a very good platform for exports. And I believe there's another trade agreement that um, you're hoping to be agreed soon. Is that right? Tell me about that. Well, it has one fact that during this administration, we just closed the Alianza Pacifico with Colombia, Chile, Peru, and Mexico. The, the protocol for trade and investment was done in February. Right now, our legislative branches are approving that. And at this point, things are moving very fast with the TPP, the agreement that involves 12 nations between the Americans and Asia. Mm -hmm. And uh, according to our knowledge, uh, the U.S. Congress is about uh, to approve a trade promotion authority for the Obama administration. That will bring us to a very near to close in this agreement, which for Mexico is excellent because of the 46 countries that we have free trade agreements, only one is from Asia, Japan. Mm -hmm. So we need to expand our relationship with Asia. What about the structural reforms that need to take place? Well, as a matter of fact, uh, here that we are starting uh, this uh, Latin American meeting in the World Economic Forum, the main purpose of this meeting is to review the efforts in Latin America for economic reform. Why? Because sometimes when you are doing uh, trade agreements and you have financial stability, sometimes that is not enough for a trickle-down effect to benefit the small and medium-sized business. You have to have an efficient economy, access to energy, cheaper energy, that's, that's why the efforts that Mexico has done in energy reform, financial reform, educational reform, uh, competition reform, antitrust law reform are very important because that will allow all the individuals to have a level playing field to compete in fair terms in, the, in order to, do, to trickle down benefits mm -hmm. to everybody in the country and to all the regions in the country. That's, that's why the main theme for this LATAM meeting is about how to improve competitiveness in Latin America. Which country do you think is doing the best? In Latin America? Well, things are, have been changing. I mean, the fact that the world economy is in recession and the only country that is growing is the U.S., that benefits Mexico a lot. Within the context of Latin America, in the year 2015, I think that Mexico will be one of the most uh, fastest growing countries mm -hmm. compared to other areas in Latin America. But that's because uh, ha there is a, a, a reduction in the price of commodities and it's affecting uh, mm -hmm. Uh, it's affecting Brazil, it's affecting Chile, it's affecting Peru. And in the case of Mexico, we are very linked to manufacturing. And, and uh, one benefit is that the U.S. economy is growing very, f I mean, better than the rest of the mm -hmm. world. And what about what's next? What is next is the implementation of the reforms that is already happening. Uh, the reforms were finished compl completely on August last year. And by now, we have been having very specific effects reduction in the price of electricity for manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Today, industrial, the industrial sector is paying between uh, 16 and 26 percent less in the electric bill, which gives you a lot of uh, a margin for competitiveness. Uh, the consumers are paying less for uh, telephone communications. They are, uh, there is an increased competition in the networks uh, to provide services for f phone services. There are new uh, TV networks that are coming into the market. So. Uh, at the end of the day, there are already uh, good impacts of the reforms. Now, there is a long way to go. You know, reforms have a long time to really uh, uh, impact the economy. And uh, our main purpose and, and the message of the president is let's be very careful and, and very, very strong about implementing the reforms properly so that everything that has been designed will fall in has benefits for the economy. Minister, thank you so much for joining me here. Hub Culture Pavilion, and I'm Edie Lush.